many questions today for Victor. First question, uh, Kim or King? <laughs> uh, both. Okay. Actually. Kim is a birth name. Yes. And King is? King is the... Uh, is what I want to represent. Mm -hmm. um, there's an idea that I've developed uh, one day at a Starbucks, and um, I like to call it kingdom mentality. Mm -hmm. And it's what I basically want to represent with my art, my music, and my dance. And it's basically the idea where, one, it's not about me, but it's about you. It's about what is it that, that you want... To hear from you. No, not... Well, yes, but it's like... What we consume. No, no, no. It's, 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 to me, it's a little deeper. It's, okay. It's... Um, because the, the idea is that, um, that that everyone has dreams and goals in their lives, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure you, you were to dream to, to be here one day, and here you are. But basically, it's the idea that, that the dreams and, and things that we have are not just lofty um, thoughts in the universe that may or may not happen, but they are our inheritance. Mm -hmm. As in that it's not, oh, they might or might not happen. They know they already belong to you. Right. You know, okay. and, and that's what I want to represent other than just some guy that can dance and sing a little bit. You and know? I think that's what you're claiming now with being Victor King. You're claiming, you've claimed dancing. Another question um, is how long did it take you to dance that good? We got that on Twitter, which is on Twitter. You are Victor Quest. So, yes. so many, uh, don't be confused. Uh, it's a I'm still, confusing. yes. So, um, yeah, how long did it take you to dance that well? Um, well, I'm still learning, of mm -hmm. course. I'm always a student, but uh, I've been dancing since, um, oh my gosh, my freshman year of high school, okay. which is, oh my gosh, probably 10 to 11 years ago. Ago, yes. Oh so, um, it's, uh, dancing came first before singing. When did you start singing? You know what? Actually, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, music came first for me, mm. actually. I started, um, I started playing piano when I was in second grade. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom, just like many other Asian American moms, uh, kind of forced me to play piano. And she'd always say, you'll thank me later for this. Right. And I was like, no, I won't. So do you thank her now? Oh, absolutely. Did you pursue piano lessons or did you stop at a certain point? Because now you're playing ukulele. Well, piano, to me, I see piano as kind of like the... It's like the, the building blocks of music because okay. it, it teaches you theory, it teaches you cadences, um, chord, you know, things like that. But um, I still play piano, actually, but um, I started playing guitar in high school for, for the church, actually. Mm. I started uh, leading praise uh, for the church um, in high school, and that kind of resulted from me wanting to make it up to my mom for uh, being kind of a bad kid. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And have you made it up since? Um, my goal, actually, Has is... Has she forgiven you yes, for you'll... being... <laughs> okay. Well, one of the things that, um, that I'm, very, I'm very, uh, very proud about, you know, just the progression of life, is that uh, after um, my dance crew and I, Quest, had won ABDC, mm -hmm. the first thing that I did was to get all the prize money that I, I had won from the show, and I just gave it to my parents. What a very good kid. And now <sighs> you're on to earning more because <sighs> you're building an empire. Let's talk about, an, an, aside from singing, you mentioned fashion. Yes. Wh um, what is that about? <laughs> well, um, aside from, uh, you know, piano lessons in elementary school, I also would, uh, <laughs> I would also doodle a lot. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was really into drawing and illustrations. And, and uh, about a year ago, I decided um, I would like to share that um, passion and that creative outlet through through clothing. Mm -hmm. So on the same day that I'm releasing the EP, I'll also be releasing um, my new clothing line, which is called Kingdom Apparel. It kind of go along the uh, kingdom mentality uh, right. realm. And then I'm also releasing um, my signature shoes, actually, that I'm doing with a uh, shoe company called Tweak. Mm -hmm. They're called the Kings. And um, I'm also releasing my brand new... Uh, signature ukulele. Okay, since actually. we're running out of time here, I think we should just talk about what you're not doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing everything. That's the information on the screen. There EP is. release party is happening next week. Doors open at 8 p.m. and that, what's going to happen? Do you, are you signing? Are you signing autographs, taking pictures, performing, dancing? Is Quest Crew going to be there? Um, I believe Quest is on tour with LMFR right now, but the, the red carpet starts at 8, mm -hmm. so I, I hope that you will be there mm -hmm. looking as beautiful as you are. Oh, now. thank you. And uh, yes, there'll be uh, performances by another group that I'm a part of called YTF, mm -hmm. uh, which is Yesterday, Today, Forever. Uh, real quickly, it's uh, involved uh, with Ryan Higa, Keb Jumba, 
J.R. Aquino, there they are. Yes, J.R. Aquino and Andrew Garcia, they're both friends of Cabo Bay in yes, L.A. I think they've been here before. They might have told you about this, too. Yes. But um, so how does <clears throat> how do your uh, um, dance members <laughs> at Quest feel about this? Supportive? They're kind very supportive, yeah? yes. Yeah. And, um, what kind of support are you getting from them? Well, uh, Ryan Confrido, actually, he's uh, one of the... The lovely Filipino gentleman. There he is. Yes, we love Ryan. Okay. Yes. Who, who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? But um, he was kind of the one to um, encourage me to to really pursue music because we we're one day we we're chilling at a at a cof coffee shop or a cafe and I don't know how it came about, but um, he he said that um, you know what, Victor, I don't really see you as a as a, a dancer that can kind of do music. I see you the other way around, a, a musician. That can dance. That can happen to dance a little oh. bit, and and coming from him, that really resonated because um, I don't know if you know this, but he's a phenomenal. He's the best piano player I've ever met in person. And really, I didn't yeah. know that. He should come here and play. He should. Yes. See, he's flipping around on the screen right now, just defying gravity. But he's also uh, an amazing jazz pianist. But when when you dance like that and it's very physical, are you not scared of injuries also? Uh, and then when you get injured, then it affects other things that you do in life, correct? Yes, and that's why uh, you know, for me personally, I take uh, I take yoga. Mm. I, I love Bikram yoga. It's one of my uh, new obsessions. Mm -hmm. And um, before I dance, I always make sure to uh, not just to get my body in the right uh, state, but also my mind to 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 think quickly and and to avoid any kinds of uh, potential injuries. And being in the right uh, frame of mind when speaking about that, um, what inspires you? You know, quite honestly, I would have to say my mom, because um, a lot of, looking back, I'm, uh, I'm 25 now, mm -hmm. getting a little older. Very young. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as, as I'm getting away from college, I'm, uh, I'm kind of, and looking back on uh, this life, I realize a lot of the uh, motivation behind what I do is, is, is my mom. And, and we have the picture right there. there Your she mom is. is very pretty. She's we beautiful. have to meet the mom because you've mentioned her maybe 10 million times already. Well, she will be at the EP release party. Oh. I'm, I, I'm actually really, really excited about this because uh, I'm flying her out. I'm mm -hmm. getting her a uh, limo service from the airport, oh, going, go, nice. taking her to the hotel with right. my dad. And uh, yeah. Why are you flying her out? She's not, she doesn't live here? Where does She's she from Sacramento, where oh, uh, I'm okay. from originally. Okay. I moved down okay. here to uh, Orange County for school, and now I live in North Hollywood. And because you keep talking about mom, what is the best thing you think, best advice you got from mom? Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Always be humble. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something for me I feel like has helped me in, in just so many ways, because hum humility is not just uh, just you know not bragging, but it's also realizing that every single person you meet in life and teach you something, right. you know, from the the janitor in the in the in the airport to the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. There right. is something, there's 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 knowledge and wisdom that can be gained. How so profound! Um, <laughs> yeah. What what has uh, dancing with Quest Crew uh, taught you? Um. Wow. So many things as well. Uh, practice makes perfect. <laughs> How <laughs> much do you practice? Singing, dancing, I mean, some, something suffers, right? Or how do you prioritize? Um, well, that's something that I learned, um, I feel like, in college, more so than uh, the economics degree that I, that I had studied for. Because when I was in school, not only was I trying my best um, to get the grades and to make mom proud, right. I, um, I was also preparing with Quest Crew to go on America's Best Dance Crew. Mm -hmm. and uh, That must have been a hectic time. It, was, it wasn't easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the other guys, um, they weren't in school. No one else was in school, and I was the only, I'm the youngest one of the, uh, of the seven, and uh, I would have like a midterm one like the next morning, mm -hmm. but then I'd be at a rehearsal till like four, and mm -hmm. I would just be studying in between, uh, between you know, takes, and uh, but it definitely taught me the importance of uh, time management and also that if you really want to accomplish certain things in a in a in an allotted time right. you can so yeah. look at where you are now on your way to conquering your kingdom and building your kingdom you write songs too or do you s interpret somebody else's writing i i did for the longest time uh just do covers on youtube but um the ep that i'm releasing is all original mm -hmm. and uh it's something that i Actually, it was I had a lot of fun learning how to do. Are you dedicating this to anyone? Love life, or you do you have a girlfriend seeing someone? Uh, I, I just had to ask that. I question. did. I know I, a lot of your girl fans are. Oh please. Just <laughs> asking. Okay, yes, you did. No more. I did. Um, or and you do. <laughs> I did. Okay. I, I do not anymore. Um, 
the, the EP is, is basically, it's not a specific genre of music. Um, most people are kind of used to me doing the acoustic, uh, maybe ukulele right. covers. But the, the EP has, you know, one song with featuring the, but the other ones are, uh, there's a jazz ballad, there's a, like a reggae hip hop. So one. an eclectic mix. An eclectic Very mix. Very interesting. Plus he's going to be there, he's going to be meeting with fans, it's open to the public, that's the EP release party. We'll give you more information later on in the show, but for now, let us hear it from Victor King. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. It's been too long and you know how I miss you. Mm -hmm. in the end, all I need. Are